Hi, I'm Dan Sin and today we're gonna talk and we're gonna learn some kapas. Kapas, kapas is like, it's, you could say it's like a yokai. It's like a, a monkey with a turtle back moving like a human, kind of. Um, kappa also means in Japanese cucumber. It's like if you go to the restaurant, you have like a kappa maki, it's like a sushi with cooked a cucumber. Why? Because one story is that the kappas, they love cucumbers. And you see a lot of uh, illustrations where there is the kappa sitting on a cucumber, eating a cucumber or whatever. I will explain more stuff when I'm drawing and then a little bit of the stories about it because I really love kappas because I even have them tattooed on myself because there's so many stories about them and their personality and everything. So the main character thing that's to the head, again the circle, well, the main character thing is that hole they have in the head. So the hole in the head you saw it for sure in tattoos or you saw it on Japanese prints. It's this energy. They say without this liquid in his hole in the head, he can't survive. So we do first the hole in the head. I like to do the hair around. And then do pretty much a little bit do the face kind of of monkey style, little nose, here the eyes, and then here the ear. Um, we're gonna do it with mouth open so it looks kind of angry. I like to do them with a kind of a pointy pointy mouth there are stories about the kappa that they live in lakes and one of the main stories is what they tell every kid is that the kappa lives in the lake and as soon you come too near to the lake that it jumps out and it tries to suck the blood off of people's Anus. That's, uh, that's, that's how it is really written in books. I was, in the beginning when I read about this, I was like, oh, that's weird. But it's in multiple stories I read about it. And it's, and I think it's more the story that they tell the kids that the kids are beware of lakes and that they're not drone in a lake. So here's the hat. We do the tongue. I do it a little bit more aggressive this time because they are monsters and and then there's another story about the kappa that if the kappa would jump out of the lake and try to attack you because it's a really nice human you could say him hi and he would also say hi and put the head down and he would lose his energy and he would die. So he's very friendly but he's also not very smart. And then we do the body. And the body can be kind of looking a little bit monkey style. So I do him like griff, like not really hands but more like kind of turtle griffs I like to do him. Kind of ribs. A little bit in attack mode. And again, I'm only sketching it really fast, and then later, if I'm tattooing, I can go. So this one looks like it comes out of the leg. Um, I always put a little bit long hair, and then I I show a little bit of the turtle, uh, the turtle, I don't even know how to call it, turtle plate on the back. 
And then the same with the legs. The legs can be can be also like kind of more grip with it. And if you like in Japan, you will see kappas all over Japan. They are everywhere. They are in toys. They are like in <coughs> in souvenir um, souvenir shops. You see them. Uh, every kind of shape and, and very many variations they can look nice they can look uh, crazy more like monster but you will see sometimes you don't even recognize them but you will see them all over because it's like a really known story in Japanese folklore Okay, so now I always like to start with the, the hole in the head. I take my kind of the small Japanese brush. Then you can make it look like a little bit like water in the head. And then I go to the eyes. I like it to look so I'm playing with the part over the eyes so it looks a little bit more angry. And then the eye, inside the eye you can do looking more like, and, uh, like frog style or you can also only do one dot that's up, up to you do maybe a little bit eyebrows and then the mouth a little bit more like peak stylish the tongue i like to do all this a lot of small little teeth so it looks kind of Kind of aggressive. For the hair again, I like to use small, small pan. The the colors of the cap normally you see it in green. But again, nobody really knows how it looks. So you can do it green, you can do it brown, you can do it red. I did them in yellow. Uh, you can do it in blue, you can, yeah, whatever. And I think again, if I do the hair, I try to do the body more like a warm color. Or if I do the hair warm color, I do the body more cold color. If I do the hair cold color, I do the body warm color so it's good to have a little contrast it makes always everything looking a little bit and again all my sketches always look kind of rough and fast but then at the end if I tattoo it then it's where I go and I focus on how my lines look where I'm using small lines where I'm using big lines and it's a thing which I can't, which I do in tattooing, but with my sketching, I don't really do it. Because for me, it's that for the tattoo, when I draw it on, it's more important to have a base. And then in between tattooing, I'm, I don't know if you can say I'm going loose, but I'm, um, I'm, I kind of know what I have to do. The, the griffs, I like to do it looking a little bit like turtle style. But then you could do you could do the hands also more like like long longer. So again you can you do it however you feel it.
chop it back. And then, of course, what I like to do, as usual, is a little bit dots, a little bit structure, so it looks a little bit more dirty. <coughs> You, if you see them in Japanese prints, they're always carrying, sometimes they're carrying a pearl around to, because they say that the copper wants, that they think that there's a pearl hidden in our body and that they want to find that pearl in us. And I was all, it's old stories I was reading about it because I was really interested in that main subject and I also love to tattoo it so whenever people ask me to tattoo a cup I would never say no because you can do so many variations with it you can like make them um, swimming coming out of the lake maybe this arm is a little bit too long so I would shorten it I would put the hand maybe here But I, for me, it's more fascinating all the stories about this 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 guy, and I think that a lot of parents only used to really tell the kids, "Hey, don't go to that lake, or you're gonna drown." Because I wouldn't really fuck around with this guy if he jumps out. can even put a little hair coming from his back like you see sometimes with the turtle that they have that seagrass hanging on them maybe you can give him a little cucumber holding in his hand so So people know it's a cup only by seeing the cucumber. Yeah. So this is really one of my favorite subjects in Japanese um, folklore and mythology because it has so much character. I like the fact that it's stupid but also smart, but also friendly. So it's yeah, it's like some of us humans. <laughs> probably and yeah this uh, was the kappa class for today i hope i see you guys tomorrow and with something new thank you very much